Hi, my name is Robert Caro. I've known Susan Richmond for a long time. I first met her when she was still in the world of publishing, in the world of books. Why do I do these dinners? Why do I appear at these dinners? Why do so many writers appear at these dinners? Well, for part, it's because of Goddard, what Goddard does. Uh, these dinners support things that I really believe in, that we all really believe in, their work with the children, their work with the elderly, their work with the homeless. There's so many, too many homeless we see everywhere. Who's doing things for them? You think of God. So you're happy to do the dinners. You feel privileged to be asked to do these dinners for that reason. Goddard and the causes it supports, but also, to tell the truth, you do it for Susan. I remember Susan when I first got to meet her, uh, when she was still in the world of books, in the world of publishing, and I quickly found that Susan was a person who really reads books, not only the books that she was professionally involved in, but she reads in general, which is somewhat more rare uh, than you might think in the world of publishing, I found. And even rare is the fact that she not only reads books, but she understands books. I always loved to talk and loved, I loved and loved to talk about books with Susan Richmond. I remember when Susan first asked me to be the host at one of these dinners, and what my thought was, as whenever I get asked, to do something like this. Oh, please don't be asking me to do this because it's not really something that I enjoy doing. As a matter of fact, I very seldom do uh, things like that. But I really did it both because of the cause, Goddard's cause, and because of Susan, because of the respect and friendship that I felt for her. And I think, to tell you the truth, that that's a very widespread feeling among writers in New York. And it's the reason, really, when you think about it, that Susan can attract to these dinners as hosts so many writers that people, I don't put myself in that category, but sometimes I look at the list of writers and I say, boy, she has the right one. She has writers that people are interested in listening to and interacting with. You know, the very logistics of getting together 20 or so writers and 20 or so hosts, uniting them, getting the guests, uh, getting the dates squared away and everything. I want to tell you, uh, if you tr ever try to herd a bunch of writers to do anything, you really think how hard that is. And Susan does it every year and makes it seem effortless, no matter, despite the fact that it is not effortless. So you've got to say that Susan, among her attributes, is a relentlessness. Uh, in, if she wants an author to appear at one of these dinners, she pursues them. I won't, don't want to say to the ends of the earth, but she will pursue them to a place like the Texas Hill Country. So when I was doing the Johnson books uh, for three years, my wife Ina and myself lived uh, in the Texas Hill Country, one of the most remote and isolated regions of the United States. And the phone rang, and it was Susan Richmond calling from New York asking if I would appear at a Goddard dinner. We're here tonight to congratulate Susan, to congratulate Goddard, and I think we also have to say thank you, thanks to Susan for having done this. You know, she's created something that has now endured for a lot of years. It's very hard to create something in New York City that lasts, to create an institution. Susan has done that, and I congratulate her for having done that. And I also think I would like to thank Susan for doing it. I think we should all say thanks, Susan, tonight.